Hi everybody. This is just a quick video to show you all of the components that you need to build a mister on a budget. The first thing that we're going to look at is the DE10 nano board itself. I bought mine from DigiKey. Uh, they were able to ship it to me quickly and for not very much uh, for a shipping cost. Right now they have 316 in stock and uh, I paid about five bucks shipping for mine. So about 140 bucks shipped. The great thing about ordering it from DigiKey is that you get in addition to the bare board, it comes with a lot of extras, including a power supply and this enclosure. This enclosure isn't going to give you as much protection as a case will, but if you're just going to sit this thing underneath your monitor, then uh, you don't really need a lot of protection. So I went ahead and just, I have my mister right now in this same enclosure. It has some silicon feet so it doesn't slide around. It's really good. Now, in addition to the board, you're going to need some RAM. There are uh, about a dozen cores that run with no RAM at all, but if you want to get into the consoles, uh, some of the more advanced computers, you're going to need some RAM for your board. Uh, this is the 32 meg uh, RAM uh, unit. It is 20 bucks uh, with $4 shipping on eBay. Uh, this will give you access to all of the cores except for a couple uh, Neo Geo games. Um, uh, if you are interested in doing all the Neo Geo stuff, you're going to need the 128 meg RAM board, but for everything else, the Amiga, the NES, uh, the arcade stuff, uh, this is all you need. And it's 20 bucks and about 25 bucks. Now, the next thing you need is a device to connect all of your peripherals. Now, you can get a Mr. Uh, official Mr. USB hub that sits underneath the board. That's about $50. You can save a lot of money by buying this. This is a uh, OTG hub adapter. Plugs into the micro USB port in the back of the board and gives you three USB ports. Uh, so this is more than enough for connecting a uh, mouse and a keyboard plus a controller. Uh, this is the one that I have. It's worked magnificently. I, I really like this. So that's the solution for that. And then you're also going to need a way to easily turn on and turn off the mister. Uh, unplugging it from the uh, the port, the barrel jack, is not real good for the barrel jack. Put some extra stress on it. And this is just an easier way to do this. What this does is it plugs in. One end goes into the barrel jack. The other one goes into the included power supply. And there's a switch right there. So you get a two-pack of these for 6 bucks on Amazon. They work great. Uh, next up. You're going to need a way to connect your controller wirelessly. I assume that many of you have a PS4 or an Xbox One stick laying around. How can you connect that to the Mr. Easily? This is the solution. 20 bucks. It's an 8-bit dough wireless USB adapter. Uh, this is a plug-and-play solution. You literally just plug it in and the PS4 stick, you pair it up, and it, it, it works uh, flawlessly. Uh, I haven't had any latency issues at all with it. So um, here we go. 20 bucks. You're out the door. You have everything sorted. The last thing that you might want to consider, and this is what I consider to be optional, this is a heat sink for your mister. Uh, this is uh, if you're running some of the more advanced cores like the 486 core or the mini mid core, people have reported some instability once the uh, once the chip reaches a certain temperature. Uh, so if you're concerned about that, get yourself a heat sink. Uh, it's about seven bucks. You get I got a pack of five. Um, and uh, then all you know you don't have to worry about it. This is the 20 by 20 by 10, which gives you enough clearance for that enclosure to still fit over top of it. So there you have it. That is all you need to get going with Mr. Now you may ask, what about the SD card? Well, another great thing about buying uh, a DE10 nano board from DigiKey, it comes with an 8 gig SD card. Now, 8 gigs isn't huge. You're not going to be able to put a ton of stuff on that. But again, you're building a Mr. on a budget. If you want to just put a couple cores on there and put you know some ROM sets on there, you can fit a lot in 8 gigs. Um, if you're just doing the, the classic system. So, and of course, you know, SD cards are cheap. You can easily get a 64, 128 gig, you know, whatever you want. It's not going to cost you a whole lot of money. So the last thing is what about the IO board that you always see that's so popular, the one that sits on top? That's good if you want uh, an F, if you need VGA out, if you need an audio jack out. But if you're connecting your board to an HDMI monitor or a television, 
uh, that is completely unnecessary. And again, with the fan, it's overkill, in my opinion, if you already have the heat sink. Uh, these chips are rated to uh, 100 degrees Celsius, and even under the heaviest loads, a lot of them are only running at about 80 degrees. So, you know, that you're, you're getting close to the top. The heat sink brings it down 10 or 20 degrees, uh, and, uh, and you're in good shape. So, uh, unless you are in that very specific case where you're connecting your mister to a CRT monitor, you need the VGA, you can skip the I.O. board completely. Uh, I hope this is useful. I'll put all the links to this stuff in the description. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.